Hi, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to talk about Fat Mike, bass player and lead singer of American punk rock band NoFX. NoFX have been now waving the flag of punk rock for almost 4 years. The band started in California in 1983, rose to popularity in 1994 with their album Punk in Drublic and went on to release a total of 14 albums and 17 EPs. The group revolves around the figure of singer and bass player Fat Mike, who is also the main songwriting force behind the band. About his bass chops, people have mixed opinions. Though he is a very respected player in the punk community, outside of it he doesn't seem to get much credit. Technique-wise, he's punk. NoFX writes simple and solid songs and Mike holds the bottom. Like the name says, no effects, no tricks, nothing really complicated, though some songs are really fast and require a good stamina. Let's check out a few of the main aspects of his playing. Number 1. Always start with an upstroke. The first very unusual thing about Fat Mike is that he seems to start always with an upstroke. Alternate peaking is very common in punk music and to keep up with fast tempos it's also a necessity. But starting with an upstroke is something that I haven't seen before. To me it makes no sense, as my natural instinct is to peak down, so unless it's a real fast part, I don't really use upstrokes. Fat Mike though does it all the time and on every video I've seen he always starts with an upstroke. You might think that this is something that he does only when playing these super fast songs, but nope, check this out. It's upstrokes even for a single note. Number 2. Play it soft. No effects are a raw and up-tempo punk band and Mike's vocals sound also very rough and aggressive, so you'd probably expect this type of musician to have also a very hard picking style to go with it. To the contrary, Fat Mike plays really soft, making it one of the main features of his style. He famously uses a soft 0.6 gym download pick, so a lot of his tone is made from the soft alternate picking. Two more tips to get close to his tone. Scoop the midrange and pick close to the neck. Before we go on, please make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. If you want to go the extra mile and really support this channel, check out our web store and get one of our t-shirts. Thank you. Number 3. Create melodic hook lines. Besides playing technique, what makes Fat Mike a standout player in the punk rock world is his uncanny ability to create hook lines with his bass. In true punk style, no effects guitars mainly rely on fifth chords or open chords instead of actual riffing. So like Rancid, the bass guitar carries most of the melody, often acting more like a set of horns. Mike's intro arpeggios and hook lines are all very melodic and easy to remember and that's why they're so remarkable. Number 4. The Fat Mike Triplet Another trick Fat Mike is known for are the super fast triplets he throws in his bass lines. It's a weird circular pattern, it's a triplet. You can try as long as you want, but you'll never get these lines down unless you start with an upstroke. Number 5. Chords To create his hook lines, Mike also relies on two note chords, especially on intros, another trademark feature of the sound of no effects.
Besides the typical punk rock chops, Fat Mike can go from growly and harsh to warm and smooth very well, proving to be a very versatile player. Check out the palm muting intro of Suits and Ladders. And the super groovy warm reggae inspired bassline of Rico. Rico, try and understand. It really is that. Whoops, I OD'd is also pretty cool. Mike sings only accompanied by the bass that acts more like a rhythm guitar. Shortness of breath. Call ambulance. Fat Mike's vocals and bass tone are the backbone of the sound of no effects. If you take them out of the mix, he ain't no effects anymore. The bass especially carries most of the melodic duties of the band, often acting like a lead instrument. Punk rock music is often associated with sloppy musicians and though definitely love in the punk environment, outside of it Mike seems to be considered a substandard player. But though Fat Mike and NoFX aren't probably the tightest band on earth, they sure crafted their trademark sound over the years while keeping their punk ethic always intact. After all, Mike has been running one of the most popular punk bands of all time for almost 40 years, so he must have done something right. To quote no effects, music written from devotion, not ambition, not for fame. Thank you very much for watching, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button and follow me on Instagram.